Hello and welcome to Couple of Instigators. Oh my God, I am sweltering. It is 95 out and she's cooking chicken soup in the house. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not joking. I've been it's on in like a week. Chicken soup. Okay, it's 30 degrees here. So hold on, I gotta flip over in. Where are you? Oh, that's only 82 US. 82? Yeah. Let's see what it is with the humidity. <laughs> How scientific. With the humidity. Well, all right. It getting, feels hotter. Yeah, we're getting very scientific. All right, so I have Jen and Melody. Hey. Hey. Okay. Mel is in San Fran. We have recorded before. Um, Mel does stand up. I met her here uh, doing stand up and she is a school teacher yep. who lives, currently is living in San Francisco, but she is from a um, little bit outside of Rochester, right? Geneva. Yes, Geneva. The finger legs, as I'm wearing my, I love, <laughs> I just happened to wear this. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, the last time we spoke, um, <laughs> you... <laughs> It, we, you were, we did your dating. You're dating. Okay. Yes. Uh, Jen, she went on a, a lot of online dates and she kept index cards with every date. Oh, so that's she would thing. get up on stage and put the, have the <laughs> index cards on her stool. She would just go through the index cards. That's and awesome. Some of these dates were not awesome. <laughs> no, they, were all. <laughs> they were horrible but they were so funny so uh last time we spoke well no actually last time we spoke i knew your wonderful internet find had come to an end but we never <laughs> talked about how she you went off the internet market for a short time yes exactly right because you met a nice man oh Mm, yeah, I guess well, so. Yeah. <laughs> now, so I haven't spoke to you since now he's gone. Yeah, yeah. He, I could have, you know, that was like a dollar store internet fine. A dollar store <laughs> man. <laughs> I can say pack and save. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So it didn't work out. No, it I, didn't. I'm 48. I don't know how old. You look so young, Jen. How old are you? I'm a baby. <laughs> How old do you think I am? 30? Yes, I just turned 41 a couple weeks ago. Really? Yes, you just made my day. Wait I a minute. Got a, I got ID at the liquor store. I got ID at the liquor store the other day. Not even the real liquor <laughs> store. The wine store at the grocery store. What? Oh my, can you have my water? I was so excited. I was like... I have my debit card on me. I was grocery shopping. Like, my wallet's in the car. I can't even, like, the girl's like, really? And I'm like, I'll run and get it. She's like, I trust you. And I'm like, no, really, I, I will get it. This is the best day I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you, normally it's insane. Like, I have to show ID here at Wagmans. Yeah. I'm sure you do all the time. No, they make you. It's, like, the most bizarre. They don't care. They, they'll be proofing an 80-year-old lady in front of me. Uh, yeah, they want to really? they gotta see it. It's the most, I know. When I hope I I'm like, drinking at 80. <laughs> when I was probably 14 or 15, I was with my dad at the liquor store, and I guess he was having a party because he had two cases of beer because so I was carrying one. And it got <laughs> to the counter, and the guy rang it through, and he's like, whatever, $25, whatever it was. My dad lost his shit on him. He's like, she's 14 years old. If you think anybody looks under 40, you better be IDing them. You were about to sell her booze. He lost it. But I was like, cha-ching. <laughs> high school trips from then on like we would go on those little day high school trips I was buying booze <laughs> so you're like the guy in my high school that had a beard in high school we used to call him Abraham Lincoln and he would always I just buy laughed. can you see it <laughs> he would always buy people beer because they thought he was older he just waxed are you guys able to get haircuts there now I just got a haircut yesterday. Hey, nice, um, Cindy. Yeah, I uh, I was laughing. I showed a photo of uh, 
you know, my hair. I was showing Jen and them. It was like up to it here. Hurt. I liked it. Yeah, Very 80s look. It's still, yeah. I mean, it's, I flattened it. Um, but I didn't get too much cut off, but I'm going back in six weeks to get a color. So I want to look pretty because I think I'm hosting for Jessica Kirsten. <gasps> Good. Really? Yeah, so I want to look pretty. It's the beginning of September. Um, I just gotta, I just gotta like hit up Mark next week and make sure it's written in stone before I like That's start. So fun. Before I start to uh, push it on, you know, try to get all my friends to come out. So, yep, five shows. I'm hoping she's like one of my favorites. That's so exciting. Yeah, good for you. Uh, so so uh, Mel, um. What happened with that guy? Is it like two? What happened? Well, so I'm 48. I'm not afraid to admit it. Let's see. Good old. I'll say his name now. No, CJ. no, don't say his name. <laughs> what, we'll call oh, him. Okay, his name's BJ, not BJ, CJ. Then. Yeah, BJ. BJ. <laughs> yeah, so what Remember happened to BJ and the Bear? Remember BJ and the Bear? That TV show? No. no. There was a TV show, BJ and the Bear. Okay, I'll send it later to you. Yeah, so I don't know, you know, I was vacationing and, you know, I don't know if he, maybe he listened to the podcast. My sister said, oh, maybe he listened to the podcast. <laughs> and I, guess what? He like fucking go. Am I allowed to swear? Yeah, of course. We're not on the radio anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, and no I, more FCC. So actually last time me and you were together, we did the, we did a radio show together, but it wasn't right. for me. Yeah. Okay. No, you can swear here. So go ahead. Yeah, he, I think he fuck he like fucking ghosted me. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. <laughs> and like you know, the thing is, he's you know, he uh, he was divorced and has two kids, and you know, I'm I never had kids, so you know, the thing is, I I just was kind of like I was heartbroken, you know, because I was like my first relationship since the divorce. You know, I've been divorced like four years now. I was three yeah. years after, and I I was uh, it's funny because. I, my friend Eric, who's like, you know, I've known him for 36 years. He's like my, my brother. We went hiking up in um, Quebec, way up in the mountains, you know, in Quebec. And I hadn't heard from him because I was on my vacation. And I'm like, damn it. He's like, what? I'm like, I haven't heard from him. <laughs> and I'm like hiking up like three or four miles. And he's like, Knock it off, Melanie. I go, I don't know where I stand with him. And <laughs> yeah. So yeah, actually it was okay. It's okay though, because you know what? It wasn't a good match. He was kind of one of these avoidance. I don't know. Are you yeah. married, Jen? Or? No. Oh. No. Jen, do you do internet dating? No. No. Jen. So you're single. She's single. Yeah. Ready to when I moved to Alberta. I tried internet dating. And this guy figured out where I worked and he would come every single day and what? just hang out at my work. And I was like, dude, I'm at work and you can't be doing this. And he wouldn't leave. So Are one day the guys at work like had words with him and then I never saw him again. What? Right? He found, how did he find out? <laughs> he went to your work? Well, I it worked in a super, I was living in Alberta on like a, in a super, super small town. And I guess I must've said I was in the furniture store next to the grocery store, which there was only one. So it was, right. to figure so I out guess that's pretty is. simple. Yeah. It was easy to say, figure out where I was, but like this guy was not, not coming around. Oh boy. Well, here's the thing. I, that guy, it was like, he was so involved with his kids. But he was like one of these avoided personalities with relationships in terms of intimacy. Because I've researched all this. Because it's never my problem, it's theirs. <laughs> of course. Always. <laughs> and he never wanted to get together. So I guess, Jen, you know, you, you had a guy that wouldn't leave you alone. <laughs> yeah, it was insane. So I've sort of like, since I'm back in Ontario, I'm like settled. There's a guy like I see when I want to for like friendly visits. To watch hockey games. That's what we call it. Hockey what game night. We call it a hockey game night. Like, Ooh, if people can... have Netflix and chill, we have, like, hockey game night. We're going to watch a hockey game. Even though hockey hasn't been on in a couple months. We that's, uh, that's, yeah, that's the Canadian hookup instead of yeah. Netflix. You guys have Netflix oh. and chill. We have, come over and watch a hockey game. Yeah. So, I need the NHL to come back so that it sounds legit. <laughs> 
And for me, that's okay. I have my house. I have my cats. I'm quite happy. I don't need somebody living here. Oh, God. Hell no. I know. Me too. I don't want anybody living. No. Oh, my dog. That's about it. Yeah. I have my cats. I don't want to worry about what's in the fridge. I don't want to do somebody else's laundry. I don't. I want to walk around. Well, it's probably okay that I can walk around naked with someone here. But I like walking around <laughs> without clothes. I'm not a fan of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's all good. That's, 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 that's <laughs> just all like, good. Is this too much? I'm married. I don't care. <laughs> no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, I mean, online seems to be the only, like, I mean, is, is this, this mostly how people are meeting? For sure. Nobody yeah. meets in person. Well, you know, here's the thing I, I said, you know, cause I, I went offline and I really haven't gone out with anybody. It's easy. So that must have been October. Right. I had the, the dollar store dating guy, got Mr. Dollar store value. Right. And, right. Uh, and now and so, with, with COVID, you haven't really, I mean, how, do you date with COVID online? How do you do that? Well, you know what? I, I was, um, I mean, now I, I thought, guess you could go out a little more. At first I did. I know at first I, uh, was like, ah, oh, I'll be fine. I'll just do some some self care and self loving as you self loving, you know. Right. And so then I um I said, what the hell, Melanie? A man's not gonna be walking down the street and be like, I think there's a forty eight year old hot single woman <laughs> in that house. I'm gonna knock on her door. Yeah. What do I expect? It's a fucking quarantine, you know. Well, you no, know, but so, uh, Mel, really quick. A mutual friend of ours that I introduced you to, Lorraine, she always oh, yes. says, oh, come on, I'm not getting any prettier. <laughs> That's her. Like a That's a loaded statement from Lorraine. <laughs> well, and these bi- these boobs are starting to flaw- fall. So come on. Our best- and our 40s and 30s and 40s are our best boob years. <laughs> Those, oh, yeah. Mine That's were long gone that. before then. Oh, that's so funny that she's not getting prettier. Yeah, you know, and yeah, so she's always she's like, like, "Man, I'm not getting any prettier." <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, I said, let me go back on Match.com, and uh huh. So that's I'm the good one. That's the one you have to pay for, right? Yes, and I'm an idiot because I paid for that and I paid for. Yeah, Bumble. but I think you get more legit people on there, probably. Yes, yes, yes. You do, you do, but you know what? Sometimes I'm like, I still think you're a scammer. I mean, yeah. it would be kind of fun to be on um, 90, fi- 90 Day Fiance. Yes. Now they have a lot of scammers, right? Yes. I want you to, we have got to, I, let's just try to get you on the show. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> well, like, that's perfect because I'm afraid to death to teach now. <laughs> do they get paid? Those, do they get paid? To be I heard they make a very small amount of money. I honestly think a lot of it is so outrageous. I don't know if it could even be real, some of those storylines. you want a Canadian green card? You can come live with me and we'll get on the show. I fucking love Canada. <laughs> I cream and wine. If they're getting paid, let's make some money. Yeah. Oh, my God. And wait a minute, you know what they get? They get a fucking blue check mark on their Instagram. Oh, they, right there, we'll make money with ads. Bring the dog, come on That's up. right, you get the blue we'll check. Where do you live in Canada? Just outside of Toronto. <gasps> okay, I love Quebec. I, I usually, I'm like, today, July 3rd, I'm you, second, I'm always in Canada. My friend and I go for Canada Day, we hike and go. See? Could I it's really go? to be. I could sneak in the border. You we can say this in. was a really good story. Like we met on Canada Day at the fireworks and it was <laughs> magical. We were eating poutine. Oh, put- I love poutine. You were eating poutine, all right. <laughs> oh, 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 poutine. Did you, well, you know what? I didn't realize that you have got to have like all this like weird documentation to prove that you're a couple before you can get that visa. I bet. You have, yeah, it's, it's really like, I, there was a you lot. No, to be Canadian, it's really hard. I have a friend, she's married to an American.